what is up ladies and gentlemen it is vans gaming coming back at you live with the walking dead the road to survival gaming app and we have a new little event going on well not really little this is lasting about 21 days five hours 40 minutes and 10 seconds but it's hold the line collection so collect handcuffs located in roadmaps and other live events then head over to your museum to trade them in for helmet tokens so let's go ahead and check that out um this looks a bit interesting it actually kind of came out of nowhere i don't know if it came on the russian site first I haven't checked that in quite a while but the russians have been slacking am i right but here it is so you're gonna get these uh handcuffs from uh from uh, e events and roadmaps, it didn't say rating or it didn't say rating, so unfortunately we're not gonna be able to get them from rating. Um, or maybe they'll change that. Who knows? Probably not because scope their asses. But you need about 1k handcuffs to get these helmet tokens. So get 2k helmet tokens for every 1k handcuffs. So that makes sense, I guess. Um, so then we're gonna go over into the wheel now the helmet tokens right here So you, as you can see you need every 4k um, Helmet tokens you you have then you get one pull so that's that's pretty shitty now that I'm really thinking about it But first off we have the new Dwayne so look at him with this body armor and shit um, And you guys know I hate Dwayne, but um this card is actually not too bad. I I, I I honestly, you know, looked over his stats and he wasn't that bad. Let's go over him right now. 732 attack, 881 um, defense, and 1153 HP. So he actually has really nice stats for an alert tune. Pretty tanky with that uh, with that defense and HP. So he's going to go really well in an offense team and maybe even a defense team. But let's go ahead and check out his adrenaline rush. Reinforced attack, 56 AP. That's what I hate about it. But I mean, with, you know, his pretty buffed up adrenaline rush you know it's to be expected so he deals 400 percent damage and remove any positive attack um statuses from up to three enemies this character gets 60 percent defense for two turns so he does 400 damage and removes any positive attack whatever from three enemies so it's up to three enemies so it's kind of adjacent in a way um i'm gonna go ahead and assume that removes any positive attack is any attack buffs so especially like um for example uh survival road ezekiel he gives an attack buff so if um if if you put this Dwayne on your offense and you're going against uh survival road ezekiel and he goes ahead and rushes um, this Dwayne is going to go ahead and remove that positive um, attack bonus that Zeke gave out to your the the enemy that you're attacking. Um, I hope I'm correct, but that's kind of what it's sounding. We're not really getting a lot of information as of right now. And he also does 60% um, defense for two turns just to himself. If it was to all the teammates, he'd definitely be an amazing card. But uh, unfortunately not. But still, you know, topple that 60% defense for two turns onto his already pretty buffed up um, defense and HP. It's pretty wild. And then a new special... <clears throat> A new, sorry about that. A new specialist skill that we have here: hold the line. Um, for every dead teammate, this um, specialist receives 25% defense and 25% attack, in addition to any ex existing attack or defense increases. Includes prior activations of this skill. So this could keep buff. This could buff up. You know, for how many dead tunes you have, which is not the best thing in the world, because obviously if you're losing tunes, you're most likely going to lose the raid. But let's say you have him on an offense team, and your shield dies, and a second tune of your dies, then this special skill is going to go ahead and activate onto this Dwayne, and he's going to get 25% buff of a defense and 25% buff of an attack with an already, like, let's say you go ahead and use your own survival road Ezekiel and get that, um, attack and defense buff then it's going to go ahead and topple onto the the this buff right here that is in the special skill hold the line with Dwayne, and it's going to go pretty high up there so i mean that's pretty cool i mean i don't know how it's going to work like if you go ahead and revive a dead tune if it's going to revoke the special skill which i 
doubt because it said for every dead teammate so i don't know if it's the teammate has to stay dead or what happens if you go ahead and revive that dead teammate will it go away so not 100 percent. hopefully you know maybe i get him if i try hard enough for this event um and i can show you guys but you know so far you know this Dwayne is not bad but he's not amazing um let's go ahead and see what else is in the will we got some four star weapons here we got a Dwayne's recovery glock um not the best um uh, four star weapon the best thing you could do with this is probably um go ahead and disassemble it and we got the hold the line so you get two of um of the prizes you get the the gun and you get Dwayne. so probably probably the best thing in this wheel is the hold the line little box because you get best of both worlds and then we have the michonne the four <clears throat> the uh five star um gatherer michonne so you guys have seen her um she's one of the new uh kind of gatherer tunes um I went over her briefly in one of my videos, but I'll go ahead and go, um, you know, go over her now briefly as well. 885 attack, 756 defense, and 1267 HP. Pretty good stats for an alert. Adrenaline rush, 200% damage to up to 4 enemies. This character gains up to 50% um, of their max HP and 80% of their AP and all their teammates. Um, her leader skill, all her teammates get 30% attack, and you get a medium chance of finding 5 star recruit token crate in war. So, um, she's not, I wouldn't, you know, I didn't pull for her, um, I didn't think she was that great. Um, but uh, some of my buddies of mine have this tune actually, and they're really actually liking her for all the 5 star recruit tokens they're getting. Um, but obviously, you know, I have most of the 5 stars in that, uh, in that wheel anyway, and I don't really need those, um. Her leader skill sucks, but I mean, some people like her, some people don't. Obviously, it depends on opinion, but I think she's not the best card out there. And then we got our man Javier. I actually didn't even like Javier that much either, but he is a 45 AP tune, so we gotta love it. We got 885 attack, 774 defense, and 1251 1, 1 HP. Really nice. Adrenaline rush, 700% um, damage to one enemy. One teammate, one teammate gets elusive for two turns. The teammate also regains up to... Um, that teammate also regains up to 20% of their max HP. Leader skill, I already have like two tunes that have the same leader skill as him. All strong teammates get 30% attack and a very large bonus AP when attacking. Obviously, he's he's really good if you don't have that leader skill yet. Um, but, you know, I prefer the all melee teammates get 30% attack and a very large bonus AP when attacking. But, you know, to each their own. He's pretty cool. I would maybe use him definitely, you know, any any 5-star from this wheel is probably going to go really well for Territories, Survival Road, and all that good stuff. But Javier's a pretty good card. I just wouldn't go all out for him if he was in, uh, in you know, the uh, in the wheel. And then we got a uh, Abraham's Prepared Assault Rifle. Actually has the second best stat for yellows. Um... 35% defense when taking damage from enemies with more than 60% of their HP. But let's be real, you guys can go ahead and do that with armory. So, and then we got another um, pretty neat uh, five star. We got Maggie uh, Tutor ability. All ranged teammates get a very large bonus AP when attacking and a large XP bonus from war battles. So when you war with her, you get some XP to those tunes. I'm not really a big fan of it. Um, her adrenaline rush, she is 45 AP, and she deals 375% damage to a line of enemies. All teammates get focused for two turns. So she is 45 AP, and she is a focus tune. So I think she would go really well in an offense team. Definitely not a defense, but she can go ahead and bypass you some shields, and I think that's pretty primarily what she is made for. And then we got our Ezekiel Superior Shovel. Pretty good um, weapon just for the fact that it has a very large bonus AP when taking damage. But even, I don't even like those type of weapons when taking damage. So, not the best. Then we got Eugene again. He is in another event. I guess he has been popular. We went over him a lot of times because he was in the an SR 5 star award as well. He is 45 AP. I actually really wanted him in the last event but I didn't get him. Um, he deals 275% damage and negative 50 um, defense for up to 3 enemies for 2 turns and 1 teammate gets 20% AP and he has a special skill lightning reflexes when this character is not stunned and is targeted by an adrenaline rush they will immediately counter attack I mean I haven't gotten to use a special skill so I can't really judge it but it just seems a little bit meh but definitely tell me you know if it's this special skill is is definitely to keep an eye for but overall i really think eugene is a good card he does up to three enemies um that you know defense debuff and you know we need a lot more defense debuffs on this game in my opinion and then we got some more four star weapons eugene disarming hammer uh not a good weapon I, i'm literally just looking at the stats now and just telling you guys my opinion on it start off shotgun amazing weapon best 
weapon in this wheel. So. <laughs> and then, of course, what would we be without an event with Benedicts and Berts and Basils and... Oh my god, is it going to go through all the trainers? Oh, okay, so just Brady. I'm sorry, Mr. Brady. We got a Woolbeanie. We got some Flag Jackets, so right... We what kind of event would this be without a waste pack and a map and a gas mask? So it looks like it's shit after we're seeing all the shiny stuff. It goes straight to shit. So now we're back to Dwayne. So it's just like kind of half and half. Scopely wants to make it look all pretty and then, you know, put the shit at the end. <laughs> but that is it for this wheel, guys, this event. um, Honestly, the best five star in this wheel in my opinion would have to go to maggie because she is a focus student so this maggie right here um the best five star in here second best in my opinion that five star yellow eugene third javier fourth Dwayne, and five um that michonne so that's honestly how i rank it and then any four star weapon is better than none to disassemble for some hopefully ducks and kits and all these trainers and other shit can go you know shit on themselves something like that um but yeah you know most likely we're gonna get you know hiking not hiking boots you know even worse the waste to the waste packs but um yeah guys so hopefully you know you guys go ahead and grind on this i think it's worth it for you know a possible chance for a five star a free five star if you just do this you know you do all the roadmaps, you do all the events, the best you can do in the events, and it's pretty much free. You just have to put the time and effort into it to hopefully get, you know, some good shit, and that's what it's all about. But good luck, guys. Tell me your thoughts and opinions on this event going on right now. Personally, you know, I'm always I'm always in for, you know, for some free five stars if you just put some work into it. So I'm all right with it, even though they could have just left, you know, the waste packs and the maps and the beanies and the... And all that shit out, but you know, what can you do? So yeah, definitely comment down below your opinions on it, what you think, and what the be best 5 star you think is in this wheel. Um, so um, I want to know. You know, guys know I'm a curious cat. So hope you enjoyed the video, guys. Um, definitely give it a thumbs up if you did. Also, a subscription to my page. Mean the world to me, guys. Also, comment down below if you have any questions about anything else, anything about my content, anything random, or you just want to say hi, I will always comment back. And I will see you guys in my next video. Peace out.